Good morning. It's a nice day. It's cool today. It's supposed to only be in the 60s for a high, so not exactly pushing the crops along as far as uh, maturity and development goes, but that's okay. We'll take it for today. It'll be nice working around outside. So um, we're going to, Brock should be here in a few minutes. We're going to go finish hanging some steel down in the seed warehouse. And then we're going to move a couple of lifts down here and um, do some work in the shop. Like I've said before, we're trying to do some cleaning in here for different stuff that's happening. I would like to take a power washer or a hose or at least or something and clean off our heaters up there. They get a lot of dust on them and just start at the top and work your way down. Get the fans, right? Plus, we have half a row of lights there and there that aren't working. Um, I think because they've come unplugged or they just come loose. So when I get the scissor lift down here, we can fix that easily apparently Brock's not coming until 11 today I'm sure he told me Tuesday I thought he was coming at 9 when he normally does or depends if he works the day before and all night he doesn't come till 11 which is fine I just didn't know but it's 9 30 he's not here yet so apparently it's gonna be 11 anyway we're mixing up some chemicals we gotta go spray some weeds and today's a good day to do it because there's no wind look I even took the time to watch the window for you guys all right, we've got we got some giant rags, some common rags, a little bit of mare's tail, and some fox tail poking through some of our beans. I don't like it, so we're gonna clean it up as best we can, just spot spray it with the gator here, stuff like this. See, I can I can kill those weeds just like that. And it won't hurt the beans, at least not too bad, but it's a small spot, so it'll be fine. Cleaning up the edges of the driveway here at the seed warehouse, along with the fields. Now I can't drive with one hand. Anyway, we're getting the place looking nice. Um, I put a little liberty in this, along with some glyphosate, so stuff should be dead by Saturday. Wish it was a little warmer today for the liberty, but it'll be fine. It'll still work. It's sunny. New start time for Brock, apparently. He came at 10 today. See, now I'm confused. Was he supposed to be here at 9, or is he early? I don't know. We'll go ask him. I'll try to kill these last weeds here. Are you early or late? Early? I worked last night. 9 o'clock was an hour ago. But I worked last night, so I don't have to be here till 11. See? I thought he was going to be here at 9. What you find? It's called the Japanese beetle. We have lots of them. We killed them all once already. They're coming back. Those. That's unacceptable. We can't have that. We're going to have to alter our herbicide program for next year, I think. Let's see if my chemical guy watches this or not. Yeah, we're down to 20 gallons. I started with like 30, 35 maybe, so uh, we sprayed some. We'll use that up more later. Brock, we got to go hang some steel. Okay, let's go get it done. Okay, well, I got the insulation up there for the most part. We got to hang a piece of J-trim. And then we can do some measuring and we can get our sheets brought over here and drill the holes and away we go. It just has to be up there good enough to stay while we put the sheets up. And then once we put the sheets in, it screws it in even better. So, but you gotta use nails, otherwise you'll have a head to get the sheet around, it doesn't work, and it's kind of a pain in the butt.
We're a quarter of the way done with the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That's progress. I'm happy. It looks really good. It'll insulate better than it did before I put that up. Got a long ways to go yet. All right. We can, however, start cleaning up some of our tools. Taking some of this stuff back to the farm. Impacts. Organizing. Brock's going to run a man lift down there. I don't know if he knows it yet, but he is. All right. Brock's... Uh, Ooh. Brock's walking that down to the farm. He's going to finish power washing the side of the shop there that he had started before but couldn't reach it all. So um, I'm going to let him work on that. I'm going to go grab some lunch real quick. I don't know. So when he comes at 9, he usually goes to lunch. When he comes at 10 or at 11, he doesn't. So what happens when he comes to, at 10? Whatever. He can handle it himself. If he wants to go eat, he can go eat. And then when we get back, uh, we'll clean up some more in here and head down to the farm and work on those lights and stuff in the shop there. Brock's washing our barn off. He's doing a decent job. He got some uh, pool shock like algae killer stuff and mixed it with some Dawn dish soap and using that to foam everything to try and get it off. We've got this. Yeah, it's just like algae, moss, whatever. Kind of growing on the side here. He had done the bottom part here the other day just to see how it would clean up. And it does clean up fairly well. It at least gets that stuff off. But couldn't reach it, so now he's got the lift here, soaking it down, and spraying it. It is cleaning off pretty nice, however, it's also taking some of the flaky paint off, so we might have to paint this. I don't know if it'll happen anytime real soon, but it's going to need another coat of paint. Dad painted it probably, gosh, it's probably been 12 years ago now, 13 years ago. Should I take before and after pictures here? All right, let's get started. First step, we're going to clean the floor in this corner because the boxes and pallets and some of the stuff over there is going to go over to this corner for now. Nicely tucked away. Now this stuff. What do I do with the steel cutoffs? From every one of those bays, I have to trim a sheet and cut a chunk off of it. I'm not going to use them. i got to scrap them, right? Just, that's like, I don't know what else you can do with them. So uh, there's a pile of that. Take it down to the farm and throw it on the scrap pile, I guess. These are good 2x4s that um, we're using to attach our J-channel on the ceiling side there. So I need those. Those are concrete forms that I used in my driveway last summer, and I'm hoping to do a little bit more here after Labor Day. So they're going to have to stay, at least for now. Those boards, those are trim boards for in my house that I need to take in and do something with, use on another project that I'm somewhat through. And then I have this sand and stone here that is left over from when we built my house that the builders were going to throw away. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I can find something to do with it. We're not throwing it away. So I have plans. Notice that the back porch on my house is still not finished. I would like to do the base of those posts with this stone and then wrap them with some nice white oak and the the, the, the cross and the top, yeah. That was supposed to happen last summer. Hasn't happened this summer even yet. It's probably not going to, which is a bummer. But that's the plan for that stuff. And I decided to keep it inside and dry rather than leaving it outside to get rained on. We might have to try and stack them up a little bit better. Or this one here I stole some sand out of when I was doing my flagpole and realized that it's got some concrete chunks in it. It's not the nicest. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find something to do with it. We might be able to combine that with one of the other ones, I think. Now let's see if we can combine a couple of bags of sand here. That'll stay open. I'm a little surprised this one even has a chute on the bottom or a, a spout. I thought, I thought a lot of these, I know the seed ones always do, but I thought a lot of them didn't. They didn't actually open any of them when they were building because they just scooped it out the top. Come on. Of all of the subcontractors that I had when we were building our house, 
Okay then. The stone guys were by far the most wasteful and just did not care. Well, I got those bags combined and stacked and we got the corner cleaned out over there. Mom came down looking for a way to help me, so she's shop vacuuming some for me. I'm gonna do some more floor sweeping here. And then we can stack some stuff in that corner, including all of the stuff that's over there. Huh? Look, it's that door. I haven't seen that door since uh, December, I think, when I bought that insulation. We got her tucked in there. Well, that's a pretty good day here. So I'm gonna we're gonna end up hauling this cutoffs down to the farm and put it on the scrap pile. Um, that corn we're gonna stick in the lean to. I got Brock in there taking some old signs apart that we don't use anymore. Uh, these three fridges are supposed to be leaving tomorrow. The trim boards are gonna go in the house along with the rest of the stuff that needs to go in the house. That one I'm not sure what we're doing with it yet. Might be a giveaway at field day. Um, that's a pile of trash. Got the trash cans organized. A little sweeping on the floor to do yet. Stuff for the ceiling all over there. Yeah, we did okay here. So, on Friday, the guy that I'm warehousing and we're doing the field day with, um, he's coming down and we're going to get everything set up and organized how we want it. Try and make a plan a little bit more, I guess. So, I'm about ready. We'll get rid of a few things here tomorrow or something and are good. I am going to run the uh, man lift down to the farm. I'm going to attempt to drive it through the stones. We may get stuck, but we're going to attempt. If I have to come rescue it, we'll come rescue it with a forklift. But we'll do what we got to do. Well, she's doing it. She's bogging her down quite a bit in the stones. I don't know if that's because the battery's almost dead and we're not going to make it. Or because it's a little harder to drive in the stones than on the concrete. Hopefully we make it to the road and then smooth sailing. Like I said, we can always rescue it with the forklift from the farm if I have to. We'll just go get it and pick the thing, thing up and carry it down there. Yep, definitely it's about dead. I don't know if we'll make it or not. We'll get up this little hill and then it's downhill will be better. But I haven't figured out what the power gauge means. Like it says empty now, but when I let off it goes to almost full. And it always does that. Like anytime you're using it, even after it's fully charged, it goes down to nothing when it's moving, but it says fully charged when you let go. So I can't ever tell if it's charged or not. And I know, you can just leave it plugged in, but I don't, so I don't know. It's fine. I made it. Now let's see if we can get up the lip to get in the shop. Dad's got the uh, sunflower chisel plow out. I'm gonna go loosen some dirt up. He's been he's been moving dirt across the road. Put the man lift in the barn and plugged it in. We'll let it charge here tonight and use it tomorrow. Brock did a good job, got our barn all cleaned off. From back here it looks fine. You get up close to it and you can see it needs a coat of paint. Um, like I said, I don't I don't know when we'll get to that, but it looks a lot better than it did at least now. So it is uh 5 30. And I'm going to go home soon, but I want to go up and start up the irrigation. i kind of been waiting today, let things dry off just a little bit more, and um, try to time it so that it's where I want it later in the week um, when I have some people coming to look at it. So, yeah, we'll go get her started up now and um, try and get ahead of this dry spell that it looks like we're going to get into here. Well, we got the generator fired up. And uh, we'll start up our 360 rain. It's clear in the back of the field, if I remember right, or close. Uh, come on. Gotta get, gotta get my passcode put in. I can't remember it. There we go. Should be close to the back of the field. Yeah, it's back here in these end rows. It was on pass number one when we stopped it. So we are going to hit run, hit confirm, and it should be engine starting. Okay. Let's see if it's connected. Uh, looks like we did some something today. No, maybe not. There we go. Now it's running should 
start to well up pretty quickly. So everything's running right. Right there you go. Cool. We should see pressure shortly. Right there we go. And it should start moving. Should have more pressure than that. I wonder if it's at all the drops open. I'll watch it here for a second. I don't know why the line's not green. Uh-oh. Shut it down. It didn't like something. There we go. Now we got a green line. It's moving. And we're up to pressure like we're supposed to be. I had to clear some airs. Uh, there were some airs in here. I just hit the clear events thing and uh, hit run again. And it's off and running. So good to go. Shouldn't have to do anything. All is good here. I suppose we should walk out in the corner a little bit. Yeah, so we're uh, we're lots drier than we were yesterday. Not not dry, not stressing the crop by any means. It's nice and cool today, so we're not under uh, stress. However, I've looked at the forecast. In fact, let me just pull it up here so you can see it. Here's our forecast. So today, 73 and sunny. Tomorrow, 72 and sunny. Not bad. Thursday's not bad. Then Friday, we start warming up. Saturday, and then next week, high 80s, 88, 88, 85. But there's not a drop of rain in this forecast. And so that's what I'm looking at and why we're starting it up now. If if there was rain, you know, for Saturday or the weekend or something and we had this current forecast or current conditions and stuff, uh, we probably would not start the irrigation up now. We'd just kind of count on another rain coming. But that's not what we've got. And it's gonna be heat next week and it's gonna stay dry. So I want to run the irrigation and stay ahead of it uh, so that we don't get dry before or, you know, we don't, because it takes five days to get over the field, right? So I don't want to start watering when we start seeing signs of stress. We want to start watering before that so we can be over all of or most of the field, get it some water before it is stressed, especially during this kernel fill time period. Um, reproductive stages, you don't want to get dry. It's, it's incredibly important to keep that water poured on this corn and keep it going. So we're, I didn't pull any ears there, but we're, we're starting to dent, um, we're two to three weeks away from the point where I would call it and shut down the irrigation. So we're going to keep her going. It looks like running solid for the rest of this week and next week. Closing some stuff up here in the seed warehouse. Got my pile of trim boards and stuff that I need to take up to my house. Let's go home. It's right there. I'm going to drive it. Thanks for watching today, guys. Have a great night. If you would, hit that subscribe button, uh, like the video, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, tomorrow, Brock's going to be around. We're going to work down in the shop, cleaning up down there tomorrow. I'll do a little bit more stuff out here. I think uh, sales rep Tony's coming to get those fridges and take care of a few things. So have a great night. See you tomorrow.